Hey guys, Stephanie Stallworth. I'm so excited. I got a brand new television show starting on Preach the Word Worldwide Network Television. It's called The Flow. It's going to be Monday mornings, 6.30 a.m. Start your work week off with me, Stephanie Stallworth, and join The Flow. We're going to be having some inspirational time, a little motivation, uplifting, praising and worshiping in the flow. So I look forward to seeing you on Preach the Word Worldwide Network Television, online at PreachTheWordNetworkTV.com. Find us on all social media at The Flow Network, The Flow Television Network, or The Flow Television. Looking forward to seeing you. Follow us. We'll follow you back. We'll see you Monday mornings, 6.30 a.m. in The Flow. Y'all, Stephanie Stallworth, ATL Traffic Lady. Happy Monday, Flo Fam. How you doing today? You know, it's time to start off another week of victorious living in the flow. God is just so good to us. You know, He supplies all of our needs according to His riches and glory through Christ Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. I look to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and faint not. Good morning, you guys. I like to start my day and now with you start our week with some of my favorite scripture because this is, you know, it's an interactive flow. So I want you to be part of this. Email me your favorite Bible verses so we can start the flow each Monday morning with you and your favorite go-tos that have kept you going over the years, over the months, over the weeks, over the days, the last few hours, minutes, or even just a few seconds ago you thought of something. Boom. Oh yeah, I love that. That one. Pull out your device. Email me your favorite scripture right now. Send it to me at theflowtelevision at gmail.com. That's the flow television at gmail.com. I'll be so happy to share them on the air with the rest of the flow family right here every Monday morning in the flow. So please send me your favorite scriptures. Love to share that. Also, 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 again, it's an interactive flow. So send me your testimonies, send me your praise reports, your inspirational stories. I want to share those as well with everyone here in our Flow Fam on Monday mornings. Get our week started just right again. I just want you to be part of what we're doing, what's going on here, and on something people might normally call a show, but this is not a show. It's the Flow. So email me with your testimonies, your praise reports, your inspirational stories. Send them all in to me at theflowtelevision at gmail.com. That's the flow television at gmail.com or upload your videos to our Facebook page inbox. Search for our page on Facebook at the Flow Television Network. You can even send us a message to our website at theflowtelevision.com. Again, log on to the website, theflowtelevision.com. Looking for you there. That's theflowtelevision.com. Send us a message with all your favorite scriptures and your testimonies. Also, also, <laughs> I got plenty for you. Find and follow the flow on all social media. We're at the Flow Television Network on IG. That's the Flow Television Network. It's on Instagram. We're at Flow underscore television on Twitter. If you tweet, that's Flow underscore television. That's on Twitter. Also at the Flow Television Network on Facebook. That's at the Flow Television Network. 
Facebook. Make sure that you like and subscribe our YouTube channel to The Flow Television again. That's The Flow Television. Make sure when you search, search with the in the name. Just look for our logo. You'll know you're in the right place. Again, that's The Flow Television on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell. It's right next to where you click subscribe. That way you'll be notified about any new content we put up there on the channel for The Flow. Again, The Flow Television for you on the YouTube. I love you guys so much. Thanks for joining me in The Flow. Hey y'all, Stephanie Stallworth, the ATL Traffic Lady. I want to talk a little bit about while well, we're in this pandemic, anxiety, worry, tension, a lot of stress that we're dealing with, or even distress, mental distress and agitation. Uh, sometimes we have imagined problems and definitely some real problems here uh, during this pandemic. So we're looking at how do we manage it? How do we get through it? Jesus told his disciples not to worry about even their basic needs because God, the Heavenly Father, knows our needs and he delights in providing for us. He simply wants us to give him first place in our lives. Matthew 6, 31 to 33 says that. And also we're reading in the Bible, we must let God have all of our worries and cares. He's watching everything that concerns us, 1 Peter 5 and 7. So he's watching us. He's watching us. He's got us in his very hand, even though sometimes during this year it's been really rough and it might feel more worrisome, more tension ridden than usual. Uh, this has been a tough year for a lot of people, but don't worry. You know, worry is something that we have to give up to God. Definitely have to do that. And when he tells us our worry is uncalled for, then we have to go ahead and agree with him. So let's do that and say, okay, we don't need to worry. He'll supply all of our needs. He's got everything under control. And if we worry, it just shows that we're not having faith. It's limited faith that has to be increased when you worry. Uh, God's saying, what's up with that? You know, we're saying, God, you're not big enough to handle this problem in our lives. Of course he is. He says, oh, ye of little faith, right? Yeah, so we have to just continue to keep the faith. Continue to keep the faith. You have to make it a habit even. You know, worry is a habit that we have to change. A lot of us picked up the habit more so this year than before, perhaps. I know I have sometimes. And like any other bad habit, we got to replace it with a good habit. So <laughs> every time you start to worry, I tell my kids, one of my sons especially, if you, ha if you think something negative, you got to think three positive thoughts to counteract that, right? So anytime we're in the habit of worrying, we want to be freed of that mental distress. Just think about God's help and think on good things, right? Philippians 4, 6, and 9 says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs. And don't forget to thank Him for His answers. If you do this, you'll experience God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand. His peace will keep your thoughts and your hearts quiet and at rest as you trust in Christ Jesus. And now, brothers, as I close this letter, as we continue Philippians 4, 6 through 9, let me say, this one more thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and good and right. Think about things that are pure and lovely and dwell on the fine good things in others. Think about all you can praise God for and be glad about. Keep putting into practice all you learned from me and saw me doing and the God of peace will be with you in Philippians 4 six through nine so we have to go ahead and let that worry sit aside pray about everything take your worries to him and ask him to free you from the worry and give you that confidence that you can have in god that he will take care of you he will take care of you cast your cares on him for he cares for you romans 8 31 32 
scripture says, What can we ever say to such wonderful things as these? If God is on our side, who could ever be against us? Since he did not spare even his own son for us, but gave him up for us all. Won't he also surely give us everything else? If God is for us, who can be against us as believers? We got to know God is for us. So no matter how the situation's looking, keep looking up to him for the solutions. They're coming. He's going to make a way. So let's believe the God for that. Again, if we're under mental distress and we're feeling really stuck here in this quarantine, a lot of folks are up against it. Rent is due, mortgages due, utility moratoriums are ending. All of that is going on. And kids are in school and then there's new diagnoses of COVID-19. And there's just so much to think about. Are we making good decisions? Is our leadership making good decisions? We have to go to the ultimate leader. God is our ultimate leader. He's above all things and all men. He's above all people. So if we're looking to him and he's caring for us, we really have nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. I want to encourage uh, those who worry to thank God and acknowledge he'll never leave or forsake you. He's always watching everything that concerns you. And I'm asking you to make a commitment to God. Read his word. Pray daily. Fix your thoughts on what's true and good and right. Psalm 34 and 4. The Lord can free you from all of your fears. Luke 12, 22. Worrying doesn't do any good, but trusting God does. Your problems aren't the end of the world, but the beginning of God's blessing. James 1, 2 through 5 talks about that. So we have a lot to look to God for. That's why he created us. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing with us. He knows what he's doing with these situations that we're going through. And it will be ultimately for our good. We'll end up finding some reasons why some of it had to happen. And prayerfully, we will understand in the by and by. But I just want to encourage you not to worry Keep your faith in God. Keep looking up. He always provides a way of escape. And he'll always give you some type of solution. We have to plug into him though. And worrying doesn't do anything for us except wear us out. I'm a witness to that. <laughs> so be with me and let's uh, not wear ourselves out with worry. Let's have faith. God provides everything we need. He even gives us all the answers. We're in COVID-19. We're not quite done with it yet. No, we haven't turned a corner. We're in it. But anxiety and worry are not our ways to get through it. Our ways to get through it are with faith in the Lord. I love you guys. Thanks so much, Flow family. You're not in it alone. We're all in it together. And we're going to get through it stronger together. Thanks for joining me in the flow. y'all stephanie stallworth atl traffic lady happy monday flow fam how you doing today you know it's time to start off another week of victorious living in the flow god is just so good to us you know he supplies all of our needs according to his riches and glory through christ jesus this is the day that the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it i will bless the lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. I look to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? 
The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and faint not. Good morning, you guys. I like to start my day and now with you start our week with some of my favorite scripture because this is, you know, it's an interactive flow. So I want you to be part of this. Email me your favorite Bible verses so we can start the flow each Monday morning with you and your favorite go-tos that have kept you going over the years, over the months, over the weeks, over the days, the last few hours, minutes, or even just a few seconds ago you thought of something. Boom. Oh yeah, I love that, that one. Pull out your device. Email me your favorite scripture right now. Send it to me at theflowtelevision at gmail.com. That's theflowtelevision at gmail.com. I'll be so happy to share them on the air with the rest of the Flow family right here every Monday morning in the Flow. So please send me your favorite scriptures. Love to share that. Also, 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 again, it's an interactive Flow. So send me your testimonies, send me your praise reports, your inspirational stories. I want to share those as well with everyone here in our Flow Fam on Monday mornings. Get our week started just right again. I just want you to be part of what we're doing, what's going on here, and on something people might normally call a show, but this is not a show. It's the Flow. So email me with your testimonies, your praise reports, your inspirational stories. Send them all in. To me at theflowtelevision at gmail.com. That's theflowtelevision at gmail.com. Or upload your videos to our Facebook page inbox. Search for our page on Facebook at The Flow Television Network. You can even send us a message to our website at theflowtelevision.com. Again, log on to the website, theflowtelevision.com. Looking for you there. That's theflowtelevision.com. Send us a message with all your favorite scriptures and your testimonies. Also, also, <laughs> I got plenty for you. Find and follow The Flow on all social media. We're at The Flow Television Network on IG. That's The Flow Television Network. That's on Instagram. We're at Flow underscore television on Twitter. If you tweet, that's Flow underscore television. That's on Twitter. Also at The Flow Television Network on Facebook. That's at The Flow Television Network. And on Facebook, make sure that you like and subscribe our YouTube channel too, The Flow Television. Again, that's The Flow Television. Make sure when you search, search with The in the name. Just look for our logo. You'll know you're in the right place. Again, that's The Flow Television on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell. It's right next to where you click subscribe. That way you'll be notified about any new content we put up there on the channel for The Flow. Again, The Flow Television for you on the YouTube. I love you guys so much. Thanks for joining me in the flow.
from home? Who can work from home? Me. And you can too. Just go to whocanworkfromhome.me. That's whocanworkfromhome.me. Times are tough during this global pandemic. Many employers are allowing workers to work from home. Some will continue that trend. And some won't. You can work from home right now through the COVID-19 crisis and continue when conditions improve. I mean, most of us are used to being home now. Even if you are not. Starting or continuing to work from home would be super convenient especially now that most of our kids are going to school virtually. Working for yourself from home would also be a great help if you are at home caring for a loved one. Become a virtual call center representative with a Christ-centered company. Log on to who can work from home. Dot. Me. Right now. And start working from home. Earn income as a virtual call center rep. From the comfort of your home. Grab your phone or device. Go online and type in. Who can work from home? Dot. Me. Get the ball rolling. Today. Again. That's. Who can work from home? Dot. Me. Who can work from home? Dot. Me. That's all it takes to get started. Say it with me. Go online. Then. Say it to yourself. Who can work from home? Dot. Me. Who can work from home? Dot. Me. Hey, y'all, I know we're in back to school time and we're trying to get some tests and some quizzes. I have a quiz for you, but this is for a healthy you, the ultimate guide to a whole new you. Are you ready for the whole new you to come through? We're stuck in the quarantine and the pandemic. It's a great time to work on ourselves. So I've already gotten started. I want you to join me. Stephanie Stallworth.isogenics.com slash guide. Click take the quiz and it'll help you figure out which products might work to help you get to where you need to go and reach your goals here as we're quarantined in the house. You guys stay safe and stay connected. I'll see you on the website. Thanks for joining me in the flow. We are often told, God loves you. But what does that really mean? That some impersonal force galaxies away may consider you from time to time? Or that you are a single drop in a vast ocean of humanity and God cares for all of it? There are billions of lives, billions of stories, Can we really believe he has great destinies planned for all of them? Surely the ruler of the universe has more important affairs than to notice the needs of one singular individual. But hear this, nothing could be further from the truth. When God says, I love you, it means that he crafted every detail of your being. Your every feature is His perfect design. His mind perceives your worries and your thoughts. His heart is broken by your pain. You are His child, created in His image. Your value exceeds all the riches of earth. Your worth extends beyond the stars. And though you may be unaware, He's carefully constructing the events of your life to build His kingdom. If you are willing, He can and will achieve wonders through your hands. It is the deepest passion, the most meaningful promise. It is your security, your hope, and your future. It is the truth beyond doubt. God loves you. Yes, God loves you. 
Accept God in your heart today as your Lord and personal Savior. All you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is the Son of God, that he suffered and died on the cross to save us from our sins. He rose from the dead and he sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. It's so easy and such a wonderful change of life for you. And just get yourself a personal relationship with our Lord and Savior. So if you just say, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God and that you died on the cross to save us from our sins and you rose again from the dead. And I want you to be my Lord and Savior. Believe that you've been saved. And go ahead and find yourself a wonderful church and a place to fellowship. Of course, we're in COVID-19. That makes it more difficult. But everyone's streaming online. There's lots of ways to interact with some folks out there. Check them out on their social media, their Facebook pages. Churches have all of those. And it's just a nice way to connect with some folks while we're stuck here in the quarantine times. Won't you take the Lord's hand today? Hey, Stephanie Stallworth. How y'all doing? I wanted to invite you to be part of the flow. I'd love for you to send us your videos here. If you want to be part of the Monday Motivation Millennial Moment, you have a motivational uh, word for some folks out there, young folks, that's for you. And the rest of us, yeah, we're young too, but anyone else who has a good testimony, or something you'd like to share, send it to us on the video. Our email is theflowtelevision at gmail.com. Looking forward to having you join us on The Flow. We'll feature some of your videos on the show on Monday mornings. It's Stephanie Stallworth. You're in The Flow. <music>